Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to get the sticks centered and all the uh, control channels centered on the fly wireless system. So I'm actually going to give it power through the ESC, and uh, and then I'm going to going to uh, you know apply the battery. Uh, so basically, what I want to do is uh, is give it this motor electric channel. Uh, and I have to do this right. Bright colors, right direction. Okay, black on the bottom, white on top. And uh, now I have power uh, through uh, to the uh, to the unit, and I'm going to plug that into the battery. And you see the unit powering on. And uh, it should be ready to go. I'm going to turn on my transmitter. And now you can see both of my satellites are showing a connection to the, uh, to the unit. Now that I've got that powered up, I'm going to plug in the USB device. And it's showing connected to my system. Going into the setup guide here. And uh, you can now see that I'm getting some control channels, okay? Left and right, up and down, pitch, okay, motor. All right, so what I wanna do here is I wanna make sure that everything is in the correct direction. So uh, I'm just gonna start with this right stick here. If I move right, I should move aileron right. If you look on my screen, it's moving aileron left. Okay, so it's actually the opposite of where I want it to go. When I move the aileron uh, stick left, it goes right. All right, so the way I solve this is by clicking the reverse button. Now when I move right, it goes right. And when I move left, it goes left. Okay, I've got a little bit, uh, I go to 102, 103 on the left side in the negative. I'm up to 100, I'll, uh, I'll get those things adjusted here next. But for now, I'm going the right direction, which is uh, the key of this. Now I'm gonna go uh, up and down. On the, uh, on the elevator, push forward is push uh, on, the, on the screen. And in this case, I'm seeing a pull when I push that forward and then when I pull it backwards, I'm seeing a push. So it's also reversed. So I'm gonna go in now and just click reverse. And now when I push, it should push on the uh, display, and it does. And when I pull, it will pull on the display, and it does. Okay, the next thing I have is, um, let's go to the the left stick, um, we have pitch down, uh, and it's actually pitching up. And then when I push the pitch up, it shows pitch down. Okay, so that is in opposite land. So I'm gonna click the reverse there. Okay, so now pitch up, pitch down, and you also see motor high, and motor low, those are falling in line now with what I would expect to see, okay? And that is center stick, right about there. Okay, now we need rudder, rudder right, and it goes right, so we're good there. Rudder left, and it goes left. So that is all good. I'm gonna hit the save because I don't know if I need to or not. Okay, now the next thing I want to do is to um, deal with the fact that 
On this left aileron, I have a negative 103 value, uh, and uh, I want to level that out to be 100 and 100 on either side. So I've got a little bit of over travel basically on the aileron. So the rest of that trim, I'm going to adjust in the transmitter itself. Uh, you'll notice that all of the um, levels are set to zero at center stick, and that's because the gyro self calibrates uh, when it's powered on. But I need to go in and adjust that left travel. Okay, so from here, I'm just going to select my model. Uh, and then there's a travel adjust setting. I'm going to set the travel adjust, and then I'm going to rotate to aileron. And the right side is good at 100%. Uh, so it's the left side, so I need to hold the stick left till that arrow uh, goes left on the aileron. Once it goes left, I'm looking at my screen and adjusting. Oop, I need to click first. Okay, click the button. Left side. And basically what I'm going to do is rotate this till I get 100 on the screen. Now my transmitter says minus 97 or 97. The, uh, the computer though, the, the gyro uh, shows 100, which is where I want. Kind of bounce around between 100 and 99, so I, I think that's probably fine. Um, go back to the other side. I'm 100 and 100. Okay. So uh, that is now set. Click to capture that setting. Uh, double check it again, make sure I did everything okay. Yep, I'm good. Okay, now I want to go um, on the pull on the elevator. I'm going to about 101. So I need to adjust that. So elevator down. So I need to click, hold the elevator down, and rotate till that goes to 100. Uh, and I'm there now just by clicking it one time. Click it again to select it. Just double check. So now my elevator up is a little bit short, so I need to adjust that. So as I'm holding it up, I'm going to go into the positive until I get to 100. Okay. So select that. So up is 100 or minus 100 for the push and then positive 100 for the pull. Pitch. I'm up to 103. So I want to rotate to the pitch. The upsetting. Scroll it down till I get to 100. Click. Pull. I'm at 101. So on the pull, click. Go down to 100, click again to lock that in. So now I'm negative 100, up 100. I'm still a little bit, uh, it's kind of that borderline. So on the pitch, I'm going to go down, oops, not quite that far. Go down one more uh, so that that is adjusted. Okay. Rudder right. And that's uh, at 103. So I need to go to the rudder. Adjust it on the right side. I need to back that down. And on the left side, I need to back it down as well. Just one. Okay. Lock that in. So now throttle, uh, I'm a little bit uh, low, or uh, yeah, too low. I need to adjust that to get it down to 100. Move it up top, it's at 103. So I need to bring it down to 100. Click to select. So in the end, my Transmitter settings are throttle 97 up, 99 down, 
Uh, my rudder left is 99, rudder right is 97. My aileron left is 97, aileron right is 100. Elevator push is uh, 102, pull is 99. Uh, so you can kind of see how all that works out. Now that's specific to my uh, transmitter uh, and, uh, and that's why you have to adjust your own. Now on the gyro rate, I haven't set a, a, a gyro rate yet, so it's at 50-50 regardless. I will probably adjust that later, um, but for now, um, just know that I'm not making any settings on that rudder gain rate. Um, uh, it's at a 50-50 because I frankly I don't know what to set it to right now, so I will learn that as I go. And, uh, and then we'll figure it out. So while I have everything set, the way to get out of here uh, and say, I, I hit save because every time I see a save button, I want to hit it. Uh, but the reality of it is, I think if you just leave the setup guide and go to the welcome screen, it will actually make the save to your unit. And I can actually see the unit flashing uh, that it's probably getting some right data. Uh, and then it goes back uh, and I can go back into the setup guide. So that's how you adjust your, uh, your, your uh, travel adjustment for your model. So my Tarot 450 uh, model is uh, getting configured with the Rover G31 just like I want. Man, soon we're getting ready to where I can start plugging in some servos and getting some uh, settings made. So uh, let's see where it takes us next.